What is up, YouTube friends and family? This is your buddy, it's yourself. Coming at you with a little quick video. I thought I'd do a little something. Uh, went over to my mom's old room at my mom's. I had these some old books. I killed some old cool books. Needed to come out this one. I shot him. I looked at the back. I just got through reading it in 2014. And oh lord, that one's been killed. <sighs> I was little, <laughs> but um, I got bored, you know, sometimes you get bored, you want to whittle or piddle with something, and, uh, you know, at work, I was like, hey, I need to start making some plaques for some other deer I had, and I made a whole bunch of them, so I'm going to show you guys what I did to some of them, and if you can see, I uh, I quit, I, quit. I, I whittled with a few of them, I got a bunch, well, several more of these, but um, I took the... Uh, the fabric and wrapped it you know what i'm saying I, uh, like right here I'm, i live in georgia so oh there it is these little deer i don't shoot little deer like this no more i mean in the season if that's all the buck i can shoot then i will but no i don't really don't walk but until next year to get bigger on this one i put some flames actually on these georgia ones i have a, some more on the wall that's georgia i just snatched some real quick two georgias and a, a different one to Tear out with the old chain that's been on there. Look at it. It's turned black. The old dog's black. But, um, right here's the bullet I shot him with. I put it on the plaque, stained it. Um, we come back with a black stain around the edges. Uh, it's the same plaques I showed y'all in the other videos. This one right here, actually, this is, um, this is, um, laminate. Not laminate. Ah, I can't think of the name of it. I put it on cabinets real thin. Uh, I took and put that over a piece of just regular plywood, but uh, I took the brown one, uh, emblem, drawed it in there and burned it in there with the wood burner. I got some with the bone collector squirrels on it and just just stuff like that. You know, I got bored sometimes and just you know wanted to piddle and and you know deer hunt. I love to deer hunt, so you know this right here. A lot of people like them. Uh, do stuff like that, but what I'm doing now and I've been gonna do it, but I haven't done none of the deer I still have two of my own deer from last year some bucks that I need to get European out of like those up there Y'all can see look over the mess, but um This is my little man cave room over here's my little studio, but uh anyway um Show you guys how I did that, but what I do um what I'm trying to get at is now walmart sells like these little half cut balls and they sell the balls big the big foam balls so what you can do i'm gonna show you i ain't gonna tell you i'm just gonna show you it'll look a lot nicer and it'll look like you bought it but i was wanting to and somebody might grab this and go with it who knows but hey if you do look out for your boy but sports thing caps to go on your deer mounts come on who wants just regular old red and green anymore tan Throw your sports theme on it. I mean, come on. Who wouldn't do that? You make millions off of that. So, look out for your boy. Nobody knows this idea but me, so let's go. But, um, I'm going to show you guys, um, what I do when I, this one right here, I didn't do it. I killed this deer. I don't know when it was I killed this deer. He was a big old body deer. And down here in Georgia, we, I mean, we got some good ones, but it takes a lot of, like, you got to be on farmland or, Whatever this deer right here was I aged him at three and a half years old and that's all that's all the rack he is I mean, he's got some little fat horns, you know for around here, but I mean there's nothing to him I mean, he's just 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 nothing. I mean, he's just old scrub up I mean, you see his brain cap how big it is. I mean Guys if you don't like this, but I should have pulled his hair off when I killed him uh, Sometimes you, you know, you had a long day or whatever or Drag it on or whatever you have to do, you know but that's how bad the sun is. I mean, look at how quick it tarnished him horns. I mean, it's just crazy. I'm going to show you how to bring them back alive. But um, I normally take the hair off, uh, the skin, when I kill them. And uh, the old-timey way used to be, you know, put salt on it, hang it out. And that's fine if you want to keep it outside, if you want to keep it inside. And if you want to keep it outside and you want to do a plaque like this, I would I would prefer you, you know, my opinion, I would use a, a piece of a cypress board, something that won't rot. And it'll be there, you know. But if it's inside, use whatever works for you. You know what I mean? I got some made out of solid oak. I got these that look like oak and maple. And, and this is ash. 
right here. Um, uh, I put over it and, uh, you know, do your own little thing. It's pretty neat. It's fun. You know, it gives you little deer characters. They're not nothing big, but every one of them's got a story like on the back of this one. In 2014, I wrote on it. That one might have something on it. This one, I don't know if that one's got something on it or not because I can't remember how far back that that thing goes. I was a little young when I shot that. But this one right here, I shot him last year. No, year four last, I think it was. I don't know when it was, but the horns was, was pretty and shiny like the bases. And then I brought him here and had him on the porch because I was going to pull the, the, his hair off. And when you do that, if it gets that bad, watch your fingers. But this is what I use, this blade right here. I don't know what they call it, but I use it a lot too when I'm doing my European mounts. The, um, you can cut it right off the, you know, take and get right here and you can peel it right off. But when you're doing the European mounts, your deer uh, hasn't been dried out. You know, they still have been in the freezer or whatever. And you take this right here and you can wiggle it and you get all, all that. A lot of the meat comes off, you know, when you're bullying them. I'll show you guys how I do that. The less meat you got on them suckers, the less you got to blow off of them when you do it. And um, while we're speaking about that real quick, the solution I use is uh, chloroxide. I use a, a 40 in a liquid on the skulls. And um, I take, and then I come back over, I put a 50 on it to start with. Cream, uh, volume 50. I cream, I wipe it, wipe it down with cream all in the inside, skull everywhere. After I boil it and done my little thing, I'll show you guys. Uh, this is going to be a longer video and uh, then I'll come over it with the liquid 40 and I'll babysit it I mean not really babysit it. I'll let it sit there for a day then I'll rinse it off come back look at it If it's like I want it then fine if it's not I'll do the same thing repeat it and then the second time if it still ain't what I want then I'll do it again But I promise you when you do it like that you ain't never got to worry about your deer Having to repaint him, the paint falling off and I have that natural look you can I'm gonna do a video. I might do a video at my cousin's and walk in there or some of mine, but I don't have nothing spray painted. And the time I hit them, you can you can tell the difference in them. I mean, from night and day. And like I said last year, you had one less skull cavity. But I want to show you guys how to uh, make these horns come back to life. I mean, it's not hard at all. Just get you some stain. I hadn't done none of this in years. Just something I'm fiddling with right now. Um, I got like I say, I got two of my own deer to do, and I already got two for somebody else to do. Uh, European mounts for but um, what well, we got some stain here. I, I like using I like using um, Traditional But um, it depends on the deer. I can't remember what this is Pretty dark. Let me touch him. Well, it don't really matter. I'll make him dark whatever, but let me just see Let's see what he does Let's see what it does Let's see what it does Yeah yeah, let's wipe it in there. That bone, that bone's kind of like skin in a way. I mean, it, it's it's tough, but it'll soak it right on in. Let me set you guys up right here where you can see me do it. I'm sorry, I got to get me a little stand. Ooh, you don't want to see that? But like I say, he needs to be cleaned up. But uh, let's just, oh man, down, camera down, camera down, camera down. Oh lordy. We're going to wipe him real quick. I'm trying to hurry up. My man, J.C. Stafford, guys. Y'all don't miss him. He's about to come on. I'm probably going to be late running with his channel. Trying to do these horns. Trying to show you a little something. Run a little video. I tried to do it. My little nephew got him a new truck. Pulled up with it while they go to show me with his, my little nieces and stuff. And the daggum sucker went to leaking water. And I said, oh, son, pop that hood. He popped the hood and it was coming out the uh, reservoir. The overflow on the reservoir. And, uh... I told him to kill, turn his truck off. He turned it off. It don't take much of this thing at all. And um, I took and um, looked at it. Uh, yeah, I probably hear my little girl in there having a fit because she can't get here. She thinks I'm in here recording. She don't come in and be with daddy. She learned how to open doors now, so I have to lock them. Until uh, we get the uh, the things, which my the house to come in my house is deadbolt, so I don't have to worry about her leaving out the house. But um, you just take and get you some some stain, like some some natural, some uh, traditional, like I said, uh, depending on the color of your horns, or if you want to make them darker, hey, you can do it. But I like keeping mine like the deer is. And uh, when you first do it, if it don't come alive the way you want it to, just put another. 
kind of hurry up while you're doing this. But uh, if it don't come alive like you want it, just go over it again or get you a darker stain. But what I would suggest is just go over it again because, like I say, it'll soak it up. And when it dries, um, you want it to be there. And this, you want the stain to soak in. So I'll probably have to do this one more time. Um, but on this deer, his horns was just like what they sitting at. So I doubt I'll go back over it again. But once you wipe it, come back over, get all your access off. And uh, another thing, when I do my European mounts, I take and um, I take and I, I uh, take saran wrap and I go around the base of the horns. All this hair will be gone when I when I do that. I'll show you. But I saran wrap them at the bottom because a lot of people likes to keep where they rub their horns. They like to keep that um, keep that on uh, on the uh, deer. And a lot of people that just blow them with the pressure washer and then spray paint them is just no. And another thing that thing is. It, it will have a smell to it when you walk by it. I mean, it might take a while to get it away, but, you know, I just do stuff the right way. I don't try to cut no corners on anything. You know, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it right. If I go at something, I put my mind to something, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get her done. So, that's just me. If not, I'm going I'm to go down trying. You know what I mean? But, uh, just thought I'd do a little quick, little quick video. Um, here we go. Let's look at it. Oh, sorry, guys. Now look at there, that deer. Brought him right to life. But uh, he ain't nothing but a little six point. Like I say, he should have been more to him, but there was nothing to him. Just that bad basket genetic that wants to come together. And uh, that's all he was. That's all he would have been right there. That's it. Like I say, he's three and a half. He might have made it. He, he probably would have got a little, maybe a little taller and freakish looking, you know. But I'm trying to get this genetic out. Uh, these other deer now, I was like I say, they was it was years ago when I killed these other little deer. Y'all seen the other ones I put on the thing, but uh, I tried to manage them. But like I say, people come around and sometimes I get that got to scratch that itch and take something or find you know or if I don't get it, somebody's hunts right there. Then I'm like, well, he's supposed to walk right to him and he's gonna pop it. So I've been air managing them for I don't know how long, so I just pop it. But normally I don't. I let them walk and if Cause I don't like to lose my tags. You know, we only allow two bucks, so I try to take two good ones. But I'll kill a, a funky one like that. He needs to come out. He ain't going that deer right there. I mean, look, he should have been at least an eight point, and you know, nothing to him. This right here is nothing but a spike. No, no horns, no brow tine. And he's got a brow tine. One little sticker here and that. that that's the cool buck to me. I mean, that that needs to come out. This deer, right here, I, that was back in 2014. I was. Trying to get me some eight points, so I shot him. I meant to shoot him. I was on another piece of property that wasn't mine, but I was allowed to hunt. And this deer right here come from Mount Pleasant on a old farm years back when I was about 12 years old, 10, 8, somewhere around there. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, guys, this video is already 13 minutes long. But there you go. That's a uh, that's some little tricks to doing some things. But like I say, if you uh, these right here, I cut them short because I was going to do this. But what you do is get that styrofoam ball, cut it, heat them horns up, stick it to it, wrap it with your favorite, your favorite uh, football team, your favorite whatever cool little thing you got. I'll show you how to wrap it if you want to do that. Just let me know in the in the, in the video below. Uh, a lot of people I think's got their bill turned off. They don't watch it, but I'm about to start putting a lot more my people in it so maybe it'll go somewhere if it does it does it but don't then hey you know it is what it is but uh just a quick little video for you hunters out there if anybody likes to hunt how to bring your horns back to life like say if you're gonna hang them outside and you want to put them on just a little flat get you something like that and put it in cypress and it works but uh like i said when i take this hair off even on these caps i still put this solution I do the salt stuff, but I still come back and I put the solution on it because it kills and debacterializes everything. I do it immediately, just like I would do a European mount. You ain't got to worry about a uh, future stinking or a roach or uh, which nobody, I don't have roaches, but you know what I'm saying. It's, you can eat off of it. It'll be clean. I mean, you know, if you want to go that route with it. I mean, that's the way I would do it. I mean, if he's going to hang outside, then just put salt on him and let him hang and then just 
wrap him or whatever you're going to do and put him on a piece of cypress board. Um, I got some I, I put on driftwood, uh, put a straw in the background, it's all kind of cool stuff. So, guys, you want to see more stuff like this, just let me know, put it in the content below, and uh, I'll show you. Um, and like I say, anybody want to pick up a cool idea right there? There it is. Make a lot of money off of that. All right, guys. Till next time, I got to hurry up. JC Stacker's coming on, my man. Oregon's going to be there, too. Who knows? It's open panel night tonight, I think. I'm not sure. But um, even if it ain't, get in the chat. Have fun. Love you guys. Y'all have a great day. Stack that still or stack that Go, Go get you a big buck. Go catch you a big fish. Go jogging. Whatever it is you like to do. Live life every day be happy live it to the fullest something comes at you just grinch your teeth and keep grinding we never promise tomorrow till next time love you guys